Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Merry Madness, a frightful game of frightful flinging, a, an all-out game of frightful flinging. Almost, almost <laughs> the, got it. <laughs> this is a game that has the IP of a night, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Tim Burton's classic movie. And in this game, you're basically going to be trying to deliver presents to the other guests, or of course, to Sandy Cause. Your objective in the game is you're gonna have a bunch of presents on your board, and you're going to try and remove them. You'll be rolling dice, dropping down the dice, checking to see where you can fling your presents. And if you can empty your board, you will win the game game. And that's the basic idea of the game. It's a really simple, straightforward party game. There are other games that are in the same vein as this game with the same mechanics, but this has the added bonus of being a Nightmare Before Christmas game. It plays three to five players for ages six and up and takes about 15 minutes to play. Let's talk about how to play the game and then our review. So to set up the game Merry Madness, it's actually really easy. Depending on the number of players you're playing with, you're going to be getting a player board, and then you're also going to be placing down the From Sandy Claus board. This is going to go in the middle of the playing area within reach of all players. Give every single player three dice. They're the three different dice. You're going to have the directional die, the present die, and the number die. Then go ahead and set up the presents. Put them somewhere within reach, probably in the center of the playing field. And the last thing you do is you're going to divvy up all of the presents to each of the players. So you're gonna get an equal number of presents for each player. That's the basic setup. There is a variation where each player is gonna get one of each present and the rest will go on the Sandy Claus board. But I'll explain how you play the base game and then of course how you play the variant game and you can cover one of those two right now. <laughs> Playing the game is really easy. You're gonna be rolling the die simultaneously, all three of them. And when you roll them, you'll check to see what it says. So if I have an L, a snake, and three, I will be moving three snakes to the left. I'll take any snakes that I have on my board here up to three. If there's less than three, I only get less. <laughs> I'll be passing it to the player on my left. Mm -hmm. And then I could be that I get right with this weird present thing here, and I get a two, and I'll be passing them to the right. Additionally, there's also going to be an any which lets you pl place them anywhere. And finally, there's going to be this like sandy cause looking like, looks like a bunch of like nasty presents inside of a sack. <laughs> and that will go to Sandy Claus. And we're all just gonna simply keep rolling until what yeah. happens? Until someone run, um, no longer has any tokens on their board and they yell, this is the, Halloween. This is Halloween, yep. yep. <laughs> and then to begin of the game, you go, what's this? So what's this? That, so, yeah. That's the call out and the reference. So you go, <laughs> what's this? And then everybody starts rolling their die and mm -hmm. moving their presents around, putting them onto the Sandy Claus board and everybody else's it's board. It's all happening at once. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, hopefully, you're going to be the person that runs out of presents first on your player board. And when your player board is empty, this is Halloween. You instantly will win the game and you'll take one of these presents here. Mm -hmm. And then you'll once again reset up the game and you will play until somebody gets two, three, or four presents. It's However really up to you. However long you wanna play. <laughs> the variant of the game, okay, you can talk about the variant of the game. So the variant of the game, you'll start with one of each token type and the rest go um, in, in the middle Claus, yep. yes, for Sandy Claus. And when you'll roll the die simultaneously, simultaneously just does the same in the other version. And instead of giving away your presents, you're going to be stealing them from the people left from you, right from you, anywhere, and from Sandy Claus. And this game will end once Sandy Claus has no more presents there, you'll count up your presence and whoever has the highest total wins. Yeah, so you're basically stealing, but the stealing doesn't matter mm -hmm. for games ending purposes from other players, only when all the presents that are here, minus the one of each for each player, disappears. And that instantly will just trigger the end game, calculate, mm -hmm. and, and you win. Those are the two different variants for the game Merry Madness. Okay, we played, told you how to set it up and how to play the two variants. Let's talk about what we thought about it. I was really surprised with Merry Madness with how many games we played actually. I thought, oh, we're just gonna try this out. Like we've played games like this before where simultaneous play and you're just kind of stealing or, or giving things away, right? Um, and we ended up playing a lot of games of this because it, you get into the, the feeling of it's really hectic and, and really quick. So when you're like so close to winning and you don't win, you wanna play again. <laughs> yeah, um, I played actually a game that's basically this game. It's mm -hmm. like the same exact type of a game. It doesn't have the extra variant, which is actually pretty cool. I do like that variant. But 
The added theme to this and the ability to play those Nightmare Before Christmas songs in the background added a lot of fun to it. I felt like I was giving and getting presents depending on what I was trying to do. Um, and that really worked for it. Uh, so I really enjoyed this game. Yeah, it's a dexterity game. You're going crazy rolling dice. Anyone has an opportunity to win. You can kind of push your uh, tokens on people who are about to win. So if you're almost empty. Yeah, there's empty, a little bit of strategy with like who you choose to give the presents to when you get the wild and you see all somebody who's only got three left and <laughs> if you have the opportunity to pass right if they're on your right or to do the anywhere pass mm -hmm. or whatever type of present that you want yeah. there's also a wild that will let you choose whatever you want so you can kind of give them a variety of different types if of I presents have five of the the jack in a box <laughs> then and i get that wild one you can bet i'm passing those along you might but also <laughs> another cool strategy is maybe they already have jack in the boxes right and you have that wild so maybe you'll give them a couple jack in the boxes and maybe you'll give them a wreath and like a snake Wait, you have so to that choose way one of them uh, no, not when you have a wild, right? When you have a wild, you, still you can have choose... to choose one type of present to give. Oh, up. okay. Yeah. So it's any one. Okay. You've been playing this wrong. <laughs> I, I guess I have them. I, I like my variant better, where you can choose any of them to kind of mess them over. But I guess that wasn't the right way. Either way, it didn't change the amount of fun I, I, that we're gonna have in this game. It's really enjoyable. The theme is really nice. Quality of the game all the pieces, all the cardboard really stock thick. is like triple thick. Mm -hmm. So they're really easy to hold and pass along, which is very nice. The player boards are also thick as well, but they really did a good job with how high the quality is of the cardboard. The only cardboard that's thinner is these little presents, but these are just victory markers. Yeah, they're, they're not really like passed around and moved as much as these are. <laughs> and then you've got the dice here, these three okay. different types of dice. These are what they call, they're not sicker dice, but they're like printed dice. Yeah. Uh, you see them, you yeah. know what they do. They're they work clear. perfectly well. Yeah. They, they're not the greatest of quality, but they're also not a bad quality either. Um, I guess they could have went with the indented, like higher, like fancy stuff if you wanted, but I don't think it's really needed for this mm -hmm. game. I don't think mm -hmm. I had a problem with the type of die. Mainly, can you see it? Do you know what this says, how it works? And the answer is yes, which works just fine for us. Then we have the art. Uh, this is all <laughs> this is all Nightmare Before Christmas, mm -hmm. and it has a really, really great theme. It's one of my favorite Christmas, aka Halloween movies. <laughs> one of my favorites, if not my most favorite cartoon. Um, and I really, really like this theme. I really mm -hmm. like the style of game. I really like how each of these unique present boards feels similar, but is different in its own way. I like the idea of passing presents and how it feels to put them onto each player's workbench or back into the sack for Jack to take to Christmas Town. Even the box here has got a nice piece of artwork on the front. It's got a unique piece of artwork on the back and uh, the rules are very well done, very easy to understand. And there's only like two pages. So you're gonna get yeah, this done. Yeah, it's really easy. You're gonna understand <laughs> how this game plays really quickly. Mm -hmm. If you want to send a game off as a Halloween present, aka a Christmas present, this is going to be one I would highly suggest for those Nightmare Before Christmas lovers. It's an easy way to get people into playing games and dexterity games. Mm -hmm. And I think pretty much anybody will enjoy this game. This is pretty much a game for all ages. It's It works really, really well. I, I, don't, I don't have a whole lot of negative to say about it. I feel like mm -hmm. if you don't like dexterity games or having to like look at the dice and be fast and think on your feet, uh, or you're not good at rolling dice quickly, you're probably not going to like this game. Like mm -hmm. if you don't like the idea of rolling dice chucking, there's a bit of randomness and uh, the opportunity to win coming at a cost of people dumping a bunch of stuff on you and then all of a sudden you're losing, eh, it might, might not feel so great, but it's really nitpicking because this game the plays The games quick. are so quick too that that's usually not uh, a big deal, except maybe for, for certain players, for certain kids, and then you just know that this is not the game for them. Yeah. Overall, this game is excellent. I highly suggest it for anybody who enjoys this type of a game. If you've never played a game that functions with this mechanic, this is my favorite one. However, there are other options, which I would have to look up to see, but I know that there are other options as to the games that you roll dice and you pass things until you have no board left. So it's not an entirely new mechanic, but of all the themes to choose from, this mm -hmm. one here is going to be my favorite. So this is an approved game, especially for Halloween and even Christmas, I suppose. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this review, please give us a like and hit that subscribe and bell notification button to see more videos just like this one. If you want to pick up Merry Madness, you can check out the link down in the description below. It's by the OP Games. Yeah. And can also, while you're down there, check out unfilteredgames.com for blog reviews and giveaways and tons more content on the site. And you can join us live every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific time on Twitch. We play games just like this one. Or on Wednesday, <laughs> we do indie video games. Yep. Uh-huh. 
And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing, seeing you guys, guys next time. time.